We can go ahead and flip that calendar. We're at July 1st. Yeah, if you have the paper calendar still, oh, you yeah. can go ahead and flip them because today there are several new laws hitting the books in Illinois. I have a paper calendar. Do you? I still have one, but <laughs> so much easier with the Most phone. people don't. Yeah. NBC5, Sandra Torres joins us live in studio to break down a few of the new laws you might want to be aware of. Do you have a paper calendar as well? I use too? my phone. Of course. <laughs> it is a lot easier. Of course. <laughs> I mean, most people do, right? Yes. But that's cool if you still have a paper calendar. And look, these are going to impact thousands of Illinois residents, so it's important to talk about them. There's at least nine new laws going into effect today across the state, although some directly impact Chicago residents. So let's start with the minimum wage in Chicago. It's going up from $15 to $16.20 and tip workers who currently earn a minimum wage of $11.02, they will get an 8% raise every year until it reaches the city's standard minimum wage in July 2028. There's also another new policy taking effect today. It allows Chicago workers to accrue 10 days of paid leave every single year. And Alderman Michael Rodriguez sponsored this initiative. Is all Chicagoans benefit, uh, businesses benefit because you are able to retain workers more. They don't have to choose between a sick day uh, with a child or going into work. They don't have to choose between going into work potentially with a thing like COVID or some sort of sickness. But the fact is, average everyday working class people and everyday jobs are gonna benefit from this bill. And here's another law you should consider today, offering enhanced protections for child influencers or children who have appeared in viral content on social media. So this bill will entitle children under the age of 16 to receive a portion of their gross earnings. So parents are going to be required to maintain records of their children's appearances on social media content. That's until they turn 18. And also starting today, undocumented immigrants living in the state of Illinois, they will be permitted to obtain a driver's license starting today. State officials say that this is going to help decrease stigmas and increase increased safety on the roadways.